What up, guys? Alchemist on here playing some more WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. We're on the eighth episode of Not Universe Mode, week one of Friday Night Generations. And holy shit, if you've missed anything this week before Invasion, please go back and check that out as well. This probably won't even go up before Invasion. But regardless of all that being said and done, let's get this thing. Let's get this thing set up here. Um, I have a special guest we here today. He is known as Wrestlehead100. Introduce yourself, sir. I'm Wrestlehead100. I'm just here to stream and have fun. Alright, so we're going to do some matches here. I've been training him up here on 2K16. It's, it's a lot different than 2K15 in the sense of it just being a lot more crazy. You don't unpredictable as fuck. You don't know what to expect. And you guys have seen that in the last four months of this universe mode, or not universe mode here, as I should say. Like I said, look guys, this is episode one. Of Friday Night Generations, and um, episode eight of Not Universe Mode. So, with all that being said, I'll I'll talk more about um, not sorry Friday Night Generations as it goes on. But let's get this match up here. Let's get started here with this night as Dolph Ziggler takes on Daniel Bryan in our first match of the night. These two know each other in the ring pretty damn well, and I cannot wait to see what these two can do in their ring later on in this in our first opening contest here. Our second match features Neville taking on Pac. X-Pac to be more exact, and these two are going to bring it down as these cruiserweights of their time are going to fucking bring it in our second match of the night. Our third match of the night, Edge, Samoa Joe, and Tyler Breeze take each other on in a triple threat match, an extreme rules triple threat match nevertheless, so I can't wait to see what these three can do in that ring. It's going to be out of fucking control. Our fourth match is for the WWE Women's Championship as Paige takes on Trish Stratus for Trish Stratus' WWE Women's Championship. Do you know, if you know these two, if you've seen them in my universe mode, you've seen them bring it at their best, and they're as resilient as they come. I cannot wait to see what these girls have later on tonight. Our fifth match is for the WWE World Tag Team Championships as Ric Flair and Batista have Randy Orton on the outside. They take on Darren Young and Titus O'Neil of the Primetime Players. For the WWE World Tag Team Championships. Can Darren Young and Titus O'Neil get the victory here over Ric Flair and Batista or Randy Orton be a big time factor in this match? We'll find out later on tonight. Our sixth match on our semi-main semi event is for the United States Championship as Cesaro takes on Mr. Perfect in a one-on-one -on -one match. You know, if you haven't seen these guys in the ring, this is where the generation start to start, to start making a play here and you see Cesaro take on Mr. Perfect and you talk about technical wrestling you're going to see nothing but a clinic in this one in our main event stone cold steve austin takes on triple h for the world heavyweight championship as stone cold takes on triple h for that wwe world heavyweight championship and i'll tell you this it's going to be out of fucking control triple h wants to keep that championship around his waist here tonight he's gonna to have a big challenge here in stone cold steve austin who knows him damn well we'll find out who wins this matchup later on tonight but up first Dolph ziggler takes on daniel bryan this one's gonna get crazy get ready for it it's up next this is our first match tonight, ladies and gentlemen. As Dolph Ziggler takes on Daniel Bryan. This one's going to be out of control. Wrestlehead playing as Dolph Ziggler here, and I am playing as Daniel Bryan. This one's going to be crazy. Once he figure out who's going to make their first initial grapple here. These two at a lockup here. Trying to figure each other out. Dolph Ziggler with the advantage here. Waste lock there, but only turning around, reversing out of that thing quickly. Trying to find themselves, find their stuff, trying to find that base there. And Dolph Ziggler finds it with that nice headlock takedown. Yanking on the neck of Daniel Bryan here, and out wrestling Daniel Bryan is something that many people say they can do. Let's see if Dolph Ziggler can not only out wrestle him here, but get a victory over Daniel Bryan as well. And he's two back in the clinch again here. If you guys don't know what Friday Night Generations is, this is something that's a lot different than Friday Night Legends. It features all kinds of wrestlers from not only from the from the present. But the past as well, and they all take each other on, and you see different factions of old factions being from being built. This also came from me not having the the variety hour that I usually have. Usually I have a, the custom superstars going on, but now recently I've wanted to just really turn things around and give you guys a, a glimpse of the WWE wrestlers that you guys like to see. So if you guys are all about not universe mode and the not universe mode series, this is definitely something to watch if you want to see wrestling here. I'll tell you what. Right now, Daniel Bryan working on Ziggler here. These two have been damn near good so far, and it's something else to give at some point here. We'll see what happens in a moment. Oh, bumps right into him there. Daniel Bryan trying to get back away from Dolph Ziggler here. 
Very smart is Daniel Bryan. Very smart is Dolph Ziggler. But is Dolph Ziggler going in a little too early? Maybe taking advantage of that. But now reversing that. Amazing right into that DDT. Out of nowhere. Pull that snap DDT out of nowhere. And that's what I'm talking about right here. How quick Dolph Ziggler can turn this around here. But Daniel Bryan reversing it right back again. Bryan takes him by the arm there. Tosses him off the rope. Ducks down quickly. Nice reversal there by Ziggler once again. This one's been crazier so far. WrestleHead, I hope you're enjoying this match. This is something that you wanted. This is a match you wanted. You wanted this. You it's asked for it. Match, man. It's a dream. Loves Ziggler and Brian. That's for damn sure. They fucking love Ziggler and they love Daniel Bryan just as much. And then right now, we're going to see which one of these two can better each other here tonight. Big time clothesline. Big time clothesline. Taking down Daniel Bryan here. And the GOAT has been floored after that big, big maneuver there. Ziggler setting up for something big here. Nice snap mare setting up for it. Nice and easy. I wonder what's going to happen by the end of this one. It's to really bring it to each other here. This match just started. Ziggler setting up for a neck breaker here. And he got all of it. Ziggler in control in this match here so far. And Dan Bright needs to figure out something quick and turn this thing around. Going for another neck breaker here and doing a damn good job of it. If you know about Daniel Bryan, he has that, that, that neck, that neck injury, exactly. And it's going to really affect him in this one if he keeps getting hit with those neck breakers there. Ziggler take What the fuck just happened there? Uh, Ziggler's not a uh, jumper by any means. I, I, don't, I wouldn't I jump if I was you. Take your time. No, we don't want to rush into this one. What the hell was that? <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, shit. Inverted power slam there. And that's how you do it. Ziggler catching Bryan before he gets himself back in the ring here. Well, I don't know where we're at, so I'm going to go in and just reset the count. The count is not that far. Trust me, he didn't get that far in. I should put the count up next time so you can see it. Because it's hard, it is hard to see. It is hard to see. If you don't hear it. You just gotta gauge, you just gotta gauge it. We're not gonna be outside that long. We shouldn't be outside that long. Or if we're telling him to get things going here. Oh, big time elbow drop. Big time signature move there by Ziggler. And now Dan Bryant is in trouble here. Because now Dolph Ziggler has things starting to go his way here. Going with the neck breaker once again. Could it be enough? Oh, he got it a third time there. Ziggler now needs to set up for something here. Either go for that, that DDT. Goodness, and athleticism being shown there by Ziggler. And he can turn this thing around quickly. Let's see if he has enough to take him out here. Ziggler setting up Brian, and Brian is in trouble. Those that, if they're taking so much of the, oh, catching the leg and just saving himself there and trying to fight back. But Ziggler still has enough wherewithal to know where he is after that one. I'm surprised that Brian's still fighting this one, but they didn't take nothing away from either of these guys. These guys have nothing but fight. They pretty much have fight in their middle name. This is what these guys do, night in and night out. Bouncing out that rope there, and you see the strength being shown there by Ziggler. And Ziggler has not let up since the start of this thing here. Scooping a slam there, scooping a slam, simple and easy. We all know Ziggler has like a mat based background. Right, right, right. So he knows what it's like. It. Exactly, he knows what he knows it's like to keep the uh, keep his opponent grounded or get ground game going. Dolph Ziggler on top of the world here, feeling it here, but he has to figure out something. He needs to figure out something here. He did get his finisher there reversed, and the momentum, momentum definitely going towards Ziggler still without being said and done. Brian can still turn this around here quickly. Oh, you guys both went over the same move there, but recovering quicker. This better quicker there is. Th is Daniel Bryant? Is it enough here, referee? Call it as it is. And kick out right before the one there, before the hand, the referee's hand even touched the ground. And how good? How good is this? Is both these guys here? Something has to turn up though. Something has to turn up for one of these two. Dolph Ziggler in trouble. Chop to the chest there. You can see the, the chest are returning right after that one. Daniel Bryan taking no fucking time here, setting up for those kicks, but oh, saw coming a mile away. Saw coming a mile away. Fame Master, this could damn near be it right there. And Bryan has been in trouble here so far. Brian is in trouble here so far, and whatever he sets up for, this could damn near be it. This could be damn near be it in there for our first opening contest here. Saw the super kick and call of it. I think Daniel Bryan's busted open. Is enough here for referee one, two. No, he kicks out at two to Daniel Bryan, and the resiliency being shown by Daniel Bryan here in this one. And I'm pretty sure if this one keeps going on, we will see the resiliency also being shown here by Dolph Ziggler as well. Dolph Ziggler still very fresh in this one and has wasted no time here. Has not has spent a lot of stamina trying to get anything done. Has just gone right after him here. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I like to see between these two here. Dolph Ziggler going up to the top here quickly. Wasting no time. And if you're Daniel Bryan, oh, you want to get out of the way. That elbow dropper got caught with it again. Picking up Daniel Bryan. He's set up for something big once again. Holes line taking him down once again. 
Dolph is, has had him and where he wanted him since the start of this thing here. And Bam Bryant, I don't know if this is a bad night or what, but he is not where he wants to be. This one's getting crazy. This one's definitely getting crazy. And we've seen a kick out already, a big time kick out there from Dolph Ziggler. Sorry, I mean, from Daniel Bryan. Saw the elbow coming. Whoa, a mile away. Chopped to the chest there. Kicks to the legs now. And this one could be going towards Dan Bryan here. You can hear that. You can see the crowd chanting with Bryan. But is it enough to take out Dolph Ziggler just yet? We'll find out in a moment. Set up for that big kick. And he got all of it. Could it be enough? Could it be enough here? Referee. One. No, oh, he kicks out at one. And that's what I'm talking about right there. Resiliency being shown there by Dolph Ziggler as well. Just take more than a few kicks to take out Dolph Ziggler. You know that for damn sure. He's been he's taken so much damage in his career and it still kicks it every damn night. Going for something big, going for something big. Let's see this. Snap there, simple and easy. Go for that next snap once again. And then going out to the neck once again of Daniel Bryant. There's no hatred between these two, but these two were people definitely want to get a win. Oh, and a kick right to the side of the head. Could damn near do it right there. Could damn near do it right there. Brian getting trying to set up for something big. Brian set up for something big again. Throw oh, a running kick may have just done it. Don't let those furry, those furry boots fool you. You take you off your game with those things. And now trying to set up that, that fucking single leg knee there. That single leg knee. Go for it. Oh, he got all of it. But it's enough to take out Dolph Ziggler here. It's enough to take out Dolph Ziggler. Set up for something big. It's Brian here. Could it be it? He kicks out. He just at the last second kicked out there. He, you saw him throw his arm up at the last second. How close? How close did Daniel Bryan? How close did Daniel Bryan get to that three there? How close was that? Top to the chest. Set up for something. But no. Dolph Ziggler. Stop coming away. Oh, elbow right to the top of the head. This one's going to get out of control here. I'm telling you. This is not going to be a nice night for the, either of these men. These guys have been bringing it. Have been bringing it. Fame Master once again. Fame Master once again taking him down. And now Ziggler wants to finish this thing quickly. Wasting no time. Wasting no time. But Brian again stays in this one. Big time calf kick taking him down. Something has to give between these two. Something has to give between these two. You see Brian setting up for that fucking... What the fuck did he do now? The fucking the, 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 the diving head. But yes, the diving head. But set up for it all. He just may have it here. He got it right across the, right across the arm. Right across the arm of Dolph Ziggler. But not doing enough damage to finish this one just yet. Whatever Daniel Bryan wants to do at this point. He may want to send that yes lock. But I don't know if he has what it takes at this point. I don't know if he has what it takes at this point. I think he will want to go for another one of those knees. Another one of those single leg knees. You can see that he's Brian, he didn't Brian even know what to do at this point because Dolph Ziggler could turn this thing around at any moment here. Set up for some big double underhook. Suplex with ease. Butterfly suplex to be more exact. And Ziggler quickly getting himself out of this one. And how smart is Ziggler to get himself out of this one at the last moment just because you you saw Daniel Bryan catching him off his game here and giving him time and space to get back in the ring here. Ruffy doesn't want, also doesn't want to get counted out by any means and taking his time on the outside does what a veteran like Ziggler would do. Big time chop to the chest. This is the kick there. I mean, this is the punch there, I mean, they say. Oh, reversing that amazingly into that reverse DDT. Very Sting F DDT there. Brian has things going his way. Not going to set him for anything just yet. Oh, that uppercut just did it. Oh, that punch of the head. Another punch of the head there. He's, he's rocking him silly here. Now set up for that OMG. We got suicide die. We'll see what happens in the, in the, in the moments of this one. But man, how amazing has this match been so far? Regardless of whoever wins this or loses this one, you can see the, even the, the blood on the face of Brian, courtesy of Dolph Ziggler. Holy shit, these two are bringing it to each other here. They're bringing it to each other, but it's not over just yet. It's not over just yet. And Brian, with all his strength, tossing Dolph Ziggler back into the ring, but it's not over just yet. It's not over. And anything can happen in, that Latin, in any moment here. So we're going back on the outside here. And oh, taking advantage and quickly taking advantage in this one. Oh, got him like a fish on that fucking table. This one's been crazy so far. And right now, all Dolph Ziggler needs to do is turn things around here. Oh my goodness. Oh, caught his, not only his back, but that leg on that table. Just, just tap L1. I don't think you need to take tables off. What are you doing? What are you? What the fuck are you doing? Just, just leave it alone. Just, jeez, get in the ring. Pre count it out. Oh. 
back to this one. It's out of control. Just you, all you gotta do is walk up to it and tap it. Just tap L1. You don't have to. It's it's weird. You don't you don't press it towards it anymore. You just tap it. You know what for you. Future reference. Oh, a kick right to the head just may have done it. It's stunning him here. Misses the clothesline. Getting himself back in the ring here. And Dolph Ziggler is out. Uh, just may have knocked himself out of here. Oh my goodness. And just taking himself out. Just like at the same time taking out Dolph Ziggler. Holy shit. This one's been insane. And the, and the count resets here. In this match, I'll put, I'll put the counts on so you can see it. But more than likely, we're not going to need that shit. Oh. Kick to the side of the head. Jeez. Are we telling him to get back in the ring here? Well, how much, how much left do these, guys, how much do these guys have left? Oh, missed the chop there. Missed the chop. And you can see the crowd behind Brian here, going for the kick, but no, stop coming all the way to Dolph Ziggler. This one's been amazing so far. Look at this seven for something big. Look at this. Look at this suplex with ease. And now Ziggler has things going his way once again. Let's see if he has enough to, re to get out of this one here. Let's see if he has enough to get out of this one here. Toss him into the corner. Damn, that was a uh, that was a hard fucking Irish whip there. Oh, he got all of it. That that fucking fame master, that fame master that we've been, we've seen constantly and again and again. Is it enough there? Is it enough though? Reversal there by Brian. Jesus, this one's been amazing here so far. Set up for something big. Oh my gosh, that that leg hook, that leg hook, that leg hook. Go oh, on the back of his head. And Brian in this one again. You see the crowd behind him. You see the crowd behind this guy. They know how important this guy is and how important he's been to WWE so far. Let's see if we can keep things going here. Oh my goodness, that clothesline was amazing there by Dolph Ziggler. And now Dolph Ziggler has the things, has everything he needs to turn this thing around here. The question is, can he do it? After everything he's done in this match, can he do it here? Super kick reversed again. Brian has nothing else left in him at this point, but still trying to fight back here. Trying to fight back as much as he can. And there's not much left in this guy here. Hook on the leg, hook on the leg. Is it enough referee? And kicks out at zero, did Dolph Ziggler. Holy shit. And this is only our first match tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is Friday Night in Generations. This is Generations of Wrestling taking each other on here. And you'll see different generations over time. All these episodes, all these not universe modes, whatever you want to call it, taking each other on here. Friday Night in Generations is really something I, I hope you guys do enjoy. And it's, it's something special here for sure because I've missed playing as just the base characters you know i said this before when, when, when this match first started but i just missed playing as the base characters and i really want to go back and, and try these guys out once again and give these guys a chance or they and let you let the other fans that don't really watch my stuff for the pure intense wrestling or the crash japan for wrestling or the you know that kind of shit to see the wrestler they want to see so you'll probably more than likely see the wrestler a favorite of yours in here at some point or at least of somewhat of a favorite of yours at some point in this not universe mode Big time DDT there by Dolph Ziggler, and Ziggler has things going here once again. Can he have, does he have to take, to take him out here? Brian's been out of it for a while here. Oh, and he kicks out at zero. There's Daniel Bryan, but Bryan's still on his back there, trying to get himself back up here. And Dolph Ziggler has to be wondering to himself, what is he going to take? What is it going to take here? Big time close on to the side of the head of Daniel Bryan, and now Dolph Ziggler taking advantage here once again. Setting up for that schoolboy, scaling for that schoolboy. Oh, but on the rope there, on the rope there. And now Dolph Ziggler has things going his way. Oh, big time running, drop kick right to the side of the face. And Ziggler may just have this one. Ziggler just may have this one. Oh, reverses the punch there by Dan the Daniel Bryan. Still going in this one. Still going in this one here. Chopped to the chest. And wrestle there, back there by Ziggler. Reversal back there by Ziggler. Big time drop kick taking him down. This one's been amazing so far. You can only expect the best of the best from these two. Oh, saw so coming him all the way to Daniel Bryan. Oh my gosh, did you see his body just smack off that there? And this one could damn near be over. This one could damn near be over. Set up for that, that, that fucking head butt here. Look at this. Go for it. Oh, he got all of it. This could damn near be it right here. Setting up. Setting up that, that Buzaku knee there. That single leg knee. Oh, he got it. He got it. He's going for it. He thought he was going for the pin, but I think he's going for another one here. I think he wants to take him out permanently here. If Ziggler can find a way out of this one, he just may have to. Oh, good, it's not again. But Brian has no, has nothing else left in him at this point. I don't even think he can go for the pin. My goodness, is this enough? Is it enough to go Ziggler here, referee? What? So he kicked out at one, and the resiliency being shown on this guy is amazing. I pretty much lost all my voice in this first match. How amazing has this been? 
Ryan has to be wondering what the fuck is what the fuck do I have to do to take out Ziggler here? Reversal there by Ziggler. And Ziggler just may have this one here. Ziggler just may have this one. Setting up for something big. Setting up for something big. Reversal there by Daniel Bryan. Reverse right into a DDT once again. But the re they gotta believe that the momentum going in the way of Dolph Ziggler after kicking out of that big time, not only one, but two single leg knees. Oh! Got him like a fish on the outside there. Ziggler climbing up into the top here. Yeah, I'll be wondering what the hell Ziggler is thinking at this point. Is he gonna jump? Yes, he is. Big time elbow drop across the chest. And you gotta think that Daniel Bryan has to, cannot be 100% after this. And neither can Dolph Ziggler. My goodness, these two have been killing each other here. Bay Master on the outside. That's gonna do some extra damage on these slightly padded concrete that we have out here. Tossing Bryan into the... Oh, into the... Bucking corner there, and Dolph Ziggler can just want to be a counter if he needs to. He'll do what he has to do. But Dolph Ziggler not is not as a bad guy as, as some may think this guy is, and he's respectful enough to go on the to reset the count there. Oh, and Brian could care less at this point, just going back at it. He's not care about this this anything, any happy anything. He's trying to win this match. That's what these two are trying to do is win this match. And back and forth they go. I'll send him right back into the ring. Top to the, the side of the head there. And Brian's been on his shit just as much as Dolph Ziggler has, but Dolph Ziggler's also shown up his resilience. He came out of multiple big time moves here. He can damn near finish this thing with a dragon suplex. He got all of it, but didn't hold it for the bridge. Did not hold it for the bridge. And you gotta think something's gotta give. Something's gotta give it this one. Top to the chest once again. Saw it coming a mile away. Takes him down with that clothesline. If Ziggler takes a little bit of time and waits this one out, he just may have this one. He just had, may have this one for the finish. He has to go for that finish. This just may be all it right here. Setting up for something, either a super kick or something of that sort. You let go too, you let go too early. You gotta just hold it and then you let go. Cause then, yeah, so you, yeah, you go. Ziggler has him with that neck breaker again, going after the neck. And if he hits that zigzag, it could damn near be over here. Just hold triangle by itself. Yeah, don't hold things because it'll be super quick. You're good. Good, good. Setting up, setting up, setting up. Super kick instead. I thought he was going for a zigzag, but turning this around here isn't enough. Referee, one, two, three. Oh, and he kicked out at two. I, I really just guessed that X and it happened. It really just guessed that and it happened. I'm not gonna lie to you. That was lucky as fucking. Yeah. Oh! Look at this! Look at this! Big time! Oh! Back rotating suplex there. Going for the pin. But he knows it's not gonna be enough on Dolph Ziggler and taking turns, trying to turn things around here. Team just eyeing him here. Just eyeing him. Setting up. Go! Oh. Gonna go right for the kicks. Oh! Dolph Ziggler getting himself on the outside here. Waiting his time, waiting his time, waiting his time. Something's got to give these two have been going at it. Been going at it for a damn long time here. One of the kicks. Nope. Oh. for the kicks, reverse that shit. Damn. Both of those kicks once again and just may have this one and done. Have made this have this one, one and done. Last of those, not only the kid, the shins, but the knees as well. And all right to the side of the head of Ziggler. And Brian, for the last time here, just may be done. Just may be done. This match has been amazing here so far. These two going at it. Oh my gosh, that knee once again. But Brian still with no stamina left in him. Could this be it here, ladies and gentlemen? Could this be it here, ladies and gentlemen? We'll find out in a moment. But man, Ziggler's out on his fucking feet here. Is it enough? Referee call it as it is. One, two, three. And he got the three. You see right here, 
with Daniel Bryan just uh, caught, almost contemplating on for a second of what he should do for his next spot, but he went right for the pin out of desperation pretty much and got himself the three here. Well, what a fucking match this was. Ladies and gentlemen, this is only our opening, this is only our opening match. We still got more to go. This thing's gonna go on until it's over. Up next though. Adrian Neville takes on X-Pac. This one's gonna be up next. Get ready for it. On WWE Generations. This is uh, second match tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as Neville takes on X-Pac. You talk about two cruiserweights of their time who have done things, have revolutionized almost a way of, of, of a style of wrestling. It is X-Pac and Neville, and that's for damn sure. We're not talking about Rey Mysterio or those guys who, who brought the Lucha Libre to a fruition. We're talking about guys who brought the cruiserweight division almost to a, to a, a different point in their times. And definitely bringing it here early on is, is Neville. And at some point, you want to see that red arrow at some point. The little crowd wants to see that red arrow at some point. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it is amazing. It's fucking crazy how good it is. Big kind of kick to the midsection there. To the side of the head. Oh, jeez. No fucking, no shorts being played here. That's for damn sure. Big time side kick to the head. That good? We're going to return a little higher. Uh, spinning wheel kick taken down Neville here. And at some point, one of these two have to get, have to turn things around before it's too late. These two are so quick and so agile, and they, they gain momentum so quickly. Oh, and a kick to the leg. And if you want to keep X Pac down, you have to go after the guy's legs. He has a very educated legs, much like Neville, but Neville shows more of his, his leg and body strength. Almost like a Michael, you can look at the guy, he almost like a Michael Phelps body. The guy is so damn, just lean, man. I don't know how he, I don't know how, where he diets at, but wherever he does, whatever the hell he does, I'm telling you that this guy is amazing. Formerly known as Pac back in the indies, much like X-Pac here. These guys have almost not don't share a, a similar story by any means, but at the same time share a, a crazy damn good move set. And what they do in that ring tells the, the biggest story of all. Up to the second rope here is Neville set up for some big. Let's see what he's got going on here. Oh, missed the kick there by a inch, and that's what I mean right there. How X Pac catches himself right back into it. Big time slam, bouncing off the rope here into a leg drop, and that's how you do it if you're X Pac. X Pac going to the second rope, hits this on his own this time. Set up for some big, big time body splash across the chest. Now X Pac set up to this, going up to the, the third rope here, and that could really get him in trouble here because Neville is so damn quick at moving. Let's see what he's got. Big time leg drop across the throat of Neville. And is it enough here? Did this match maybe going too early in this one? And you know, at zero, did Neville. At this point, you gotta be wondering what the hell these two are gonna do. Oh! And like I said, how quickly did Neville get himself back into this one? And how quickly does Neville get the momentum back in his favor here? Big time moonsault being just boshed there by a second, but maybe might have not expected X Pac to be so. Far away from the far away from the ropes here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, that knee reversal. Turn things around here quickly. And now those karate chops there being shown by Xbox. And how good is Xbox? Holy shit. These two bringing it here. Yeah, I wonder what the hell Neville's gonna pull out of his ass to win this one here. Don't want to get counted out here. Oh, kick to the midsection. You like I said, how quick does Neville get himself back into it? Oh my goodness. Going for something big, going for points, going for the pinch, trying to end this one quickly. Is it enough here? Referee call as it is. One, two, no, and he kicks out at two. And Punk showing up for his resiliency here. We've seen the resiliency in our previous match between Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler, and they, they showed awesome resiliency as they always do. Going for something big here, big, big time Tiger Suplex without hooking the bridge just yet. Neville knows he's do more damage here to Pac if he wants to turn things around here and really gets things going for himself. At the same time, he cannot give Pac a second to turn things around where he will take, oh, take advantage here quickly. Pac taking advantage here quickly in this one. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Set up something big. Looks like a buzz killer. I'm trying to fight in this one. Trying to fight in this one is Neville. Neville needs to get himself out of it. Neville needs to get himself out of this one here. How quick the kid get him dead if he gets out of that one, but you gotta believe that Neville has taken a little bit of damage, at least for a moment, from that buzz killer. 
Pop setting him up for something big. I'm telling you this, wherever he is, wherever he set up for it cannot be good. Whatever the case may be. Oh, reversal there by Neville. Neville set up for something big. Oh, big time drag Arana and got it all. Didn't hook, didn't hook the leg, but he doesn't need to hook the leg. He knows that this match is still too early. But regardless of such, get a, has got it. Really got himself going here. Something good. And look at that front, like that front chancery, that front next chancery, and could have him tap out here quickly. It could have him tap out here quickly. Trying to stay in this one is is Pac here. Trying to stay in this one as quickly as Pop. And Pop, X Pop, get himself out of this one. Oh, toss him out. Toss him over quick. Oh, jeez, this is fucking. That's unorthodox as hell. What X Pop just did. And X Pop. Oh. Perfectly using that that martial arts background that he has, and using those those educated feet like I said before in their start of this one to really get things going here. Go up to the top, but Neville Neville is fucking knows it has the wherewithal of a champion here to know where he's at. And Neville set up for something big. Let's see if he can get it. Let's see if he can get it. Gets himself out of the way quickly, and X Pac right back into it here. X Pac setting up. X Factory got all of it, but this can it, 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 But is this it? Is this it here? Can Neville kick out of it? We'll find out number referee one. Go oh, and kicks out at one. These two are bringing it, been bringing it here. You see the face of x -Bog. He asked me wondering, what's his next plan? What's his next step going to be? He just took out Neville for a big-time X-Factor there, but it wasn't enough just yet. X-Bog very, very well known to really get things going for himself and turn things around quickly, but so is Neville. Set him for some big and gets himself out of it quickly. Neville in trouble. Oh, a spinning heel kick to the side of the head of x -Bog and x -Bog, sorry, of Neville. And Neville is busted wide open here. And now, uh, now X Pac going after that uh, that head, that injured head, just knocking him back here as much as he can here. X Pac not one known to, to go for anything big, but he, at the same time, he's trying something new here. X Pac ready to fly. X Pac's ready to fly. X Pac's ready to fly. Oh, and he flies right over, landing right on the shoulder of Neville here. And from there, go up to the top. Don't even go for a pin. Just go right to the top. Do your damn do. Set for something big. Ducks down quickly. Ducking down again here. Going for it all. Oh, Neville. Uh, so yeah, Neville saw it coming a mile away. Going for it all. Big time German suplex. Amazing. How amazing is Neville here? Neville turning it. Oh, X Pac over. And can he have this one? Have this one and one done here. Have this one and one and done. But he's, he, he's going to take his time here. He knows that he knows that Puck is still re re resilient as all hell here. And now Pac setting him up. Oh! It's alright, and Neville set him up. So he's calling him Pop. Send him going off the rope. Going off the rope here. Going off the rope. Watch out! And he got he got him. Big time spaceman Palancha. Taking him out here quickly. And now you see how Neville has turned the pace of this thing around here. He's to put on a fucking clinic in, in, in the in the world of wrestling here. And that's for damn sure. We still have more amazing matches after this. It's gonna be crazy. I'm telling you, damn that's for damn sure. Up next, Edge, Samoa Joe. And Tyler Breeze taking control on a triple threat match. That one's gonna be out of control. I cannot wait to see which one of those three can win it. We got two, we got two very well known wrestlers being Edge and Samoa Joe. They spent a lot of time mastering their craft there. And you got a new guy, the new guy like Tyler Breeze, and that's what I'm talking about. The generations always being such a big time factor here. Never going for something big. Went for a shooting star. Oh my gosh, but caught nothing but the ground there. And that's just hard, hard. It's just as hard as hitting the canvas on the on the inside there. And now X Pop, he is known to play very dirty. Will fucking take his time here on the outside. Will reset the count if he needs to and, and do what he needs to do to get to keep Neville from getting back in the ring here. X Pop ready to fly. Oh my goodness! Big time moonsault there. X Pop resetting the count once again. How good are these guys and how educated are these guys in the ring? Not only in the ring, but on the outside as well, to go, to not only pay attention to your, your uh, fellow opponent here, but pay attention to the, re the referee as well. He's making these calls for the count here. Something else to give from these two here, going for something big as X-Buck. You know x -Buck going for something big for him, shot to the face. And Neville's taking a lot of damage. He wants to turn this thing around here as quick as possible, but really getting caught up quickly. And this one is Neville. Neville needs to find something to turn things around here. Reverses the hand, close on taking him down. And this is all pop now. Oh, boom! Oh, oh. Big time Rick there. 
Go for it, go for it. Oh, no nice suplex, no nice suplex with the brick referee one. No, and he kicks out at one, this Xbox. And now Neville, now Neville back in control here. Now Neville back in control here. Let's see what this guy's got. Let's see what this guy's got. But no, reversing it once again, this Xbox. Hawk has him exactly where he wants him here. And that's and that's not exactly not being a hundred. That's what he's doing right now. Oh, a kick to the midsection there. And Spock all about that. All about that. Setting up, setting up, setting up. At this point, he just wants to humiliate his opponent here. Oh! And at the same time, possibly get a victory. But that's how X-Pac does it there. Neville is in trouble and needs to figure it out before it's too damn late. Going up to the top, but taking too much time. You can give Neville all the time in the, in the world to play possum here. And turn things around. X-Pac going through the jumper and going for the big O! Oh, that kick. Now X-Pac taunting a lot. X-Pac taunting a lot here. This is a well-known X-Pac. This is a well-known X-Pac. Go for the... um. X-Pac taunting up, but not paying attention to his opponent here. He thinks he may just have this 1-1 one -one here. Neville going for something. Neville behind him there. Going for something big. Look at this. Oh, inverted. Inverted Frankenstein. This could damn near be it. Neville needs to go up to the top. Neville needs to go up to the top before it's too damn late. He may have it all here, and Neville's going to take his time on the outside. But Pop still somehow, someway getting himself back up here. And Neville, I mean, just have him where he wants him here. Oh, he got him with a drag of Rana. Going back to the top again is Neville. Going back to the top again is Neville. And x in a bad spot. This could be all in the right here. Going for it all. Going for it all here. He got him with a red arrow. Who's the leg? Is enough for every one, two, three. And he got the victory. Holy shit, what an amazing match between these two. Would you agree, Mr. Russell Head, to yourself? Was this an amazing match or what? These two cruiserweights have brought it in this one. I would admit, there was so much things that was expected in this match, and it just reached to different heights. Yeah, that's what these three ways do, night in and night out. They reach different heights here, ladies and gentlemen, and you gotta think, you gotta think that this is a big-time victory for Neville here, and it's only gonna propel him higher as he takes on, as he goes into that huge United States Championship run that he's going for. A lot of guys are gunning for that United States Championship, and it will be on the line later on tonight as Cesaro takes on Mr. Perry for that said championship. It's what a, a good match later on. A damn good match, I tell you what. You know Cesaro and Mr. Perfect, you know these guys are technical geniuses and they're gonna fucking bring it down. But amazing match between these two. This is around the end of the match where you started seeing Neville turn things around, and turning things around he did. Neville with the Xbox showing off a lot around the end of this one and got himself caught up here. And it's got him caught up countless times in his in his, in his run in the in WWE. Very cocky and, and that is is Xbox. And it got him a loss here tonight, but take nothing away from either of these guys. They had an amazing match. And you guys, up next, Edge, Samoa Joe, and Tyler Breeze take each other on in a triple dead match on Friday Night Generations. This is our third match tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is Edge, Samoa Joe, and Tyler Breeze take each other on. And already, Samoa Joe with that one arm just fucking side slam there. And Tyler Breeze is going to be very sneaky in this one, just as sneaky as Edge. These two Canadians are going off here already and leaving Samoa Joe in the dust here. Going for something big already is Edge. And how good is Edge and how much of a reputation that he's left it since he left the WWE. Oh my gosh, big time clobbering shot taking down Samoa Joe there. And it will also, also, how much of a legacy has Samoa Joe left already? And he's still wrestling at this point. I mean, these two know what it's like to be in that ring. And Prince Pretty needs to realize that quickly that Samoa Joe will turn things around at a fucking moment's notice. At the same time, Tyler Breeze showing off his skills here and taking nothing away from this Canadian born. He can wrestle as well as Edge or Samoa Joe. At the same time, you gotta be wondering who's gonna walk out of the victory in this one. This triple threat match has been amazing so far, and it just started. Set up for something big, but no. Tyler Breeze stopped coming him all the way. Going after Samoa Joe again, but no, Samoa Joe has Edge in the clutch. Big time German suplex and lands right in the back of his head. And that's been a bad place for Edge in, in the past. But more likely, if Samoa Joe or Tyler Breeze goes up those Achilles, that Achilles heel, or goes up the legs of, of Edge, the long, lanky legs of Edge at the same time, could definitely put him in a, long, in a bad spot. Big time forearm shot to the face. 
by Samoa Joe to Tyler Breeze. So Tyler Breeze getting him, trying to get himself set in this one. Oh! Trying to go for a pin. Nice float over so after that suplex there. And that's what you that's what you do with your edge. Oh, but ran right into that fucking standing. Jesus. Right into that fucking standing. In, in degree there. And oh, Edge choking him out here. Edge choking him out here. That's a that's a move well done there by the only uh, problem with Daniel perfected there by Samoa Joe. Tyler Breeze not going to take any time here. Going to be very sneaky and let these guys do their thing. This is an Extreme Rules match nonetheless. And, I, and that's the one thing I forgot to tell you guys. This, this is an Extreme Rules match. And Samoa Joe has him in that fucking cross face there. And how good is Edge to stay in this one after being locked in a, 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 a fucking sub submission there by the Samoan Submission Machine himself, Samoa Joe. Tyler Breeze taking his time on the outside to get things done. I don't know what the hell he's planning on doing. Whatever is not going to be, is not gonna be good. See the Extreme Rules match in this our third match tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This one's been crazy so far. You gotta be wondering who's gonna come out the above. I said this earlier on, but there's so many possibly so many things that can happen in a wrestling match. We can close on taking down Tyler Breeze here. Very quiet moment there for these three. Oh! Going after the leg of Samoa Joe here, trying to keep the big man down. If you can keep the big man down, you definitely have an uh, advantage in this one here. Oh my gosh. Oh, it barely, just barely almost hit the edge of that ladder there. And that would have done more damage if he landed on it full. Tossing the big man over. Man, that was nasty. Tyler Breeze ready to throw some hardware around here. Oh. Oh, oh. And Edge just fell right into it. How amazing was that? Tyler Breeze. Go Damn, he hit him on the outside. That was pretty cool. Tyler Breeze can fly, that's, the, that's one thing for damn sure. Oh my gosh, Samoa Joe, that fucking reversal into that German suplex there. Big time, spinning backhand, being swatted away, and Edge taking advantage here once again. Impressive body, body press, look at this, leg drop, oh, he missed it, and that's because Samoa Joe in pain moved out the way, and it wasn't even a reversal there, it was just simply him being in pain here. And now, Tyler Breeze being set up here. Tyler Breeze being set up, oh my goodness, it's being taken out there by Edge. Right on his neck there, and then Edge can can fly in that ring. We see him constantly do that before back in his back in his tenure here in WWE. He's doing it here again in, in this match, and it's a, a great return for this guy. I really miss Edge being on the roster here. I really miss Edge being a part of my universe mode. Being a part of universe mode back in 2K15 last year, it was uh, it was something to definitely behold. But it wasn't. He wasn't at his best. I truly feel like he wasn't at his best in the last few years of him being in this game and in, in, in the games. He hasn't really been. The, the the fucking tell it, the the fucking edge that we love. Oh, I'm talking about something that you know. Samoa Joe knows that super kick too damn well. Tyler Breeze tossing that uh, 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 plenty of times here. Drop kick. Oh, and fucking Samoa Joe caught the edge of that fucking table there. You gotta think something's gotta get between these two. And you gotta be the freshest person in this match right now is Tyler Breeze. Toss him over there, like a fucking snap mare there. And he's taking advantage on here on the outside. Big time reversal there by, oh, and again, oh, and that time it hits him right in the face, and fucking Tyler Breeze gets me out of it here. And this one's gotten crazy. This match is getting out of hand. That light is all over the place. Oh, fucking, hey, what a kick there. What is that? It's a there by kick there by Tyler Breeze, and Breeze ready to take advantage here. Breeze ready to take advantage. I don't know what this guy has planned. Whatever it is, not good. Big time punch to the side of the head there by Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze going up to the top, and you are be wondering what the hell is Tyler Breeze going to do here. This is our third match of the night, and these three take each other on. He's going for something crazy. Big time elbow drop across the chest there. And the crowd, I'm sure they're chanting, this is awesome. What a match this has been here so far. Holy shit. This one's been amazing. Look at this. Go! Oh! Edge needs to figure it out. Edge needs to figure it out. Prince pretty taunting away here because he knows he just may have this match in the back. But something has to give for these three. Some more drove getting himself back in here. And he just have to, after just going through a table. An announce table nonetheless. Oh, Tyler. Oh, shit. Samoa Joe taking advantage here. Oh, he getting caught off. He getting caught off there. 
taking advantage. Big time. Fury punch to the side of the head. And Edge drop kicks Tyler Breeze in the back there. And now Edge has things going his way. He has that spear. He always has that spear in mind. He always has that spear in mind. So you gotta be wondering what the hell his next his next step's gonna be. Toss him with all his force and Tyler Breeze cuts himself off the last second before he went through that table. And I watch this. Oh, catching the legs there, but it wasn't a, it wasn't the full. The table did break, but it wasn't a full way to take your opponent out here. It will be up in a few moments, but you gotta be wondering what's gonna go through Edge after taking that after going through that table via feet first there. So you can twist up your, your ankle on a table. You can twist your ankle just going out the ring the wrong way. So anything can happen here. And Edge is surprised he's still standing at this point. Big time punch being reversed there by Edge. Edge saw coming a mile away. Going for a bulldog of some sort here, and he does with these. It's very well known to set some big, big time spear. And Edge could have this one. X1 could be done here. Referee, one, two, three. This one is over. And what an amazing victory by Edge there. Right here we saw Tyler Breeze flying off the, the edge there. Pardon the pun. Right off the edge of that, that turnbuckle there. And we saw after even after Edge went through that fucking table. As you saw right there, Tyler Breeze stopped himself. And after Edge went through that table, still somehow, some way got himself back up here. Holy shit, that big time over the light suplex taking him down. Some old Joe still and, and at that point was taken out with a spear. Only moments later, and got himself the one, two, three. What a fucking match here by Edge. Samoa Joe and Tyler Breeze. This one was amazing. And Edge showing off his dominance here once again. Up next, Paige takes on Trish Stratus for the D uh, sorry for the WWE Women's Championship. You talk about two girls who really want to get a win here. Trish would love to keep that championship here tonight. Paige would also love to take it off the waist of Trish Stratus. Final wins this match up next at Friday Night Generations. This is our fourth match tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Trish Stratus takes on Paige, and you talk about generations meeting each other here. The much smaller Trish Stratus needs to realize that Paige is no joke in that ring and has the resiliency of a champion, but also a multiple time women's champion is Trish Stratus. And it was like to be in that ring with the best, and I mean the best of them here. And if Trish wants to win this match here over Paige, he needs to figure out to get power to get past. How to get past that popularity, not only the popularity that she has, but also the, moment, the momentum she can bring so quickly in a match like this. At the same time, Trish is no joke and has shown her resiliency countless times here, regardless of her breaking her fucking nose or whatever the case may be. She has brought it here before. But Paige also being the bigger diva in this one, being also the, the, bigger, the bigger female wrestler in this one, to be more exact, was definitely going to toss Paige, sorry, just toss Trish around here a lot. Trish is not the biggest of all big girls here, and Paige is just tying away here right now as Trish is in trouble. Big time closing and taking her down, and you see the the fucking that 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 attitude there being shown by Paige, that just never die attitude, that's always Smash Mouth style attitude that Paige seems to bring every time she's in the ring here. Let's see what she's got. She has a chance here tonight, of, out of all people, to win that WWE Women's Championship. And wants to get these things done quickly. Wants to get things done quickly. But Trish has shown that she's not going to just be pushed around here. Big time flapjack there. They have a lot of nice flapjacks as we have in Canada. Having a lot of uh, maple syrup. Holy shit. Paige with a big time running her corona there. And really dominating this match is Paige right now, and Trish needs to figure it out. Figure it out before it's too damn late here. Paige ready to fly on the outside. We'll take her time. We'll take her time here. And showing our dumbest trying to get as high as possible in this ring here. A lot of fans may not like Trish or may love Trish, but you, you gotta think 
what's gonna what's gonna, what is it gonna take here? Now Paige going after Trish. And Trish getting the book in herself, getting back in the ring, and now has the upper advantage here on, on Paige. Oh! And taking on the referee as well. And that's how quick Trish can turn things around here and going for the DT. Big and easy. And that's how you turn things around. Trish outsmarting. Her here, the veteran that Trish is, has outsmarted Paige, but if taking nothing away from Paige, Paige has been doing this thing since forever. Has been doing this thing. Her parents have been doing this damn thing, and have always, always employed her to be, to be, be in the wrestling business. And Paige wants to do that, the same thing here. It's been a popular, the very, the one of the most popular super divas we've had in a damn long time here. What's gonna take? What's gonna take? Oh, that flapjack again! And turn the pace of this one as Trish Stratus. And how quickly did Trish turn this thing around? I mean, Paige had this one going for, for, since the start, but easily can turn this thing around. Easily turn this thing around. Here to Trish. We go here. Oh, nice reversal there by Paige. Going for the re, sorry, for that rolling forearm, but got caught off and reversing into that. Off the rope there, off the rope there. Oh, close on taking her over. Holy shit, and Paige right back into it. Like I said, Paige is, is quick and turning things around quickly, and like she did just there. Closing and taking over. What's gonna give in this one? What's gonna give in this one? Nice suplex there by Paige once again. Staying in it, keeping her grounded here. Going after Trish here on the outside. Trish reversing that, Trish reversing that, amazingly reversing that, oh my gosh, Trish flying out for a rock and hurricanrana, amazing. Alright, you got this. Trish getting herself back in the ring, trying not to drink her count out, she should be listening to the count. Now, like I said, the veterans that Trish Stratus is, has been listening to that count and been waiting for a while now. And caught her again with that DDT, amazing. Trish flying up to the top here, the girl couldn't fly, the girl couldn't fly! Big time sent Tom, but not oh, hitting the referee out of the way, and the referee dumbass got in the way once again, and definitely has messed this match up here for Trish Stratus, possibly. Trying to stand this one at, at, at the same time here. This is Trish Stratus, but right now the referee barely has enough time to get up here at this point. One for the pin, the referee, one, two, no! And Paige stays in it once again, but man, He's going to see being shown by both these girls here. Paige has uh, been amazing here so far in this one. They could definitely win this championship here. We'd love to win this championship here. Reversal there by Trish Stratus quickly. Does not want to get caught in that for too long. Drop kick to the back. But Paige eats that. Nice clothesline. She's damn near clobbing around right right in the face there. And that surgically repaired nose has seen, a, 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 a be, a, has seen better times. Oh, for it all. Look at this. Oh, that fucking fish hook suplex with ease there. And Paige screaming her fucking brains out here at this point. Holy shit! Big time form, and now you start to see the, the now you're starting to see the the fucking fatigue start to set there you on know, Trish Stratus as she's not reversing as frequent. At the same time, you gotta be wondering what the hell's Paige's next idea is gonna be. What Paige's next idea is gonna be? Big time fisherman, so fish hook two plays, and now time time hooking the bridge there too. Oh, kicking out bad, rather one there. How close? How close was that one? How close was that? Oh, and a headbutt. Great signature style of move set there by Paige, going for those, those headbutts. She's a hard head, that girl, I believe. Look at this. Oh, chop to the titty, and that one just took her down. That could be damn near right, right there. Trish playing no games here with Paige. Uh, oh, she's looking chop to the face. Kill. Oh, she went for the chick kick. She tried to go for the chick kick and got caught up. Got caught up with the rampage there. And Paige. Pulling away from the ropes so she cannot get a rope break here. Going for the pin. Let's see what she's got. Let's see what she's got. Oh, she's not even going for the pin. She's trying to set up. She's trying to move for the finish. She's going for the finish here. Going for the going for it all. Look at this. Oh, Trish saw it coming a mile away and cut her off. Mid move there. Holy shit. Trish just may be done with it. Trish just may be done with it. Kick to the head. Chick kick just may do it. Going for the pin here on Paige is it enough referee call as it is. Resiliency has been shown here by Paige too. No, she kicks out it too. And that's what we're talking about right here. You need to argue with the referee, but not paying attention to Paige here. And Paige will take that as, take it as an advantage here quickly, tossing her on the outside there. No, it's about not a lot of space to go. Oh, big time punch to the head. Trish showing off first her athletic skill here once again. But oh, he got caught up there. Got caught up there by Paige, and Paige just may have this one. Paige just may have this victory. One for big time superplex, all the way to the top there too. Big time superplex taking her down. 
What's it going to take here in this one? What's it going to take to take out Trish Stratus here? It's been a damn near long time holding been holding that championship for a damn long time. I mean, what is it going to take? Because I'm close to taking it out again. Those triple, those triple clotheslines are, are, are set up quickly for Paige to set up for her rampage once again. Or something of that sort. Also known to lock in that PCL, that, that Indian death lock there for sure. She knows how to set up for, for, a, for, a, for a plethora of moves there. Went for the fucking shuffle sidekick, got cut off quickly. Did, did Paige here? Trish setting up for some, setting up for something big here. For that headlock, uh, head scissors takedown, head, headlock takedown to be more exact. Taking her down there, she got all of it. And that's a signature style spot there by Trish Jazz. And Trish just may have this thing here. Trish just may have this thing. And Trish poisoning, poisoning ready for that kick. And poisoning ready for that kick. And Paige just may be out of it here. Paige just may be out of it here. Look at this. Oh, she got all of it. And is it this time? Is it this? Is this her? Is this the win? Is this the win here for Paige? I'm sorry for Trish Jazz. Can she kick out of this thing here? Oh, and she didn't kick out. It was a three. Holy shit. You talk about a fucking match with these two. They fucking brought it in this one. These girls fucking brought it from start to finish. And as much as we saw the experience being shown here by Trish Stratus, Paige had a, a plenty of time to set for amazing maneuvers, and she did. She took every advantage that she could here. To every advantage that she could. But it wasn't until the dirty play that was being shown by Trish Stratus got her the victory. And got her the one through three. Holy shit. And retaining that championship here tonight is Trish Stratus. But take nothing away from Paige in this one. They had an amazing match, and I hope to see these two go on again. Anyway, guys, up next... Ric Flair and Batista, part of Evolution, take on Titus O'Neil. What's the other guy's name? Darren Young. <laughs> uh. This one's gonna be out of control. I I do not see the primetime players' names enough. I do not. The probably take down the so Evolution's members, Ric Flair and Batista, take on Titus O'Neil. And what's the other guy's name? <laughs> of oh, well, I'm trying to test you right now. <laughs> Darren Young. Darren Young. This one's going to be crazy. This tag team match is going to be out of control. I can only hope that these two teams can beat the hell out of each other. But at the same time, Evolution has Randy Orton on the outside. So how is that going to affect this one? We'll find out up next in this tag team match for the WWE World Tag Team Championships. This is up next on WWE Generations. Mm -hmm. This is our fifth match tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's Ric Flair and Batista take on Darren Young and Titus O'Neil. You talk about two teams who really want to get this win here. Is Ric Flair, Batista, Darren Young, and Titus O'Neil. Brian Van Play's been working their asses off as of late to get things done here. And if anything, if anything, I can see them with a big time victory here. But they need to get a pass not only, oh, reversal there by Darren Young. They also need to get past Randy Orton on the outside. Darren Young with a big time swinging neck breaker. And quickly, Ric Flair might want to get Batista in this thing here. Stay still, because you're not gonna. You get momentum if you stay still. If you just, you know what I mean. So, stay still. I'll get you. In. Don't worry. Flair. Oh, Joel's jabs there. And Rick Flair throwing those jabs. You see, just knocking him back here. Big time chop to the chest. And taking him off the rope again, but getting caught up there. Oh, that back. Oh, the clothesline there by. Batista, holy shit, Darren Young has never felt something with something like Batista. The size of this guy is amazing, and the legacy he's left behind is amazing as well. Having a big time fuse with Cena, a big time fuse with Orton, big time fuse with Taker. I mean, these guys, this guy's been in just about every damn thing. Triple H, for that matter, as well. I mean, there was, there's been so many times. I can only hope that these two figure something out. When this one said, when this one said and done, that these two teams figure something out, and at the same time, that Randy Orton doesn't inter, 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 interject himself in this one. Get him stuck in the ring quickly, wasting no time here, and Ric Flair taking advantage and setting up for those legs, setting those legs up for that figure four at some point. Right now, he needs to get, Bat he wants to get Batista in here at some point. You know that, oh, that, oh, that Ric Flair wants to, and just maybe they'll do. Throws him into the corner here. Oh, setting up for something big, Batista. Look at this. Oh, big time kick to the mid section there. 
These two tagging each other out. Darren, Darren Young still paying attention to Ric Flair, but that's not the who the legal man is right now. But the legal man right now is Batista. Big time suplex, stalling suplex at that. And now Batista's drawing off his strength there. You can see Randy on the outside applying this this uh, this match here, and he wants his form, he wants his Evolution team members to make something of themselves here. Darren Young fighting back though. Darren Young not going to stay down for too long. Nice punches there, get himself out of it. Darren Young catching catching. Batista off guard here with that swinging neck break with these. If Darren Young's any smart here, any brilliant, he doesn't want to just keep himself in this thing too long. He's been taking too much damage here so far. With Stag and Titus O'Neil. Big bad Titus O'Neil can really toss Batista around. And if anyone can beat up Batista, it is Titus O'Neil. Holy shit, I can't. Oh! The big guys are coming in now. These behemoths are going at it here. Look at how well big Titus O'Neil is. I'm standing at the same height as Batista at this point. He's setting it up for something big. Big time fall, falling suplex there. Almost Jackhammer esque style. Something you see from a Goldberg here for sure. Ric Flair. Looking up, looking, wait, waiting for Batista to pull something amazing here. I don't know exactly what his plans are. Oh, Batista's setting up for something. But, but Titus O'Neil rakes the eye there. It's all legal in this one. Oh, Rams right to that power slam. Ric Flair. Trying to tag Batista, you want to tell Batista to try to get back in here. Oh, and punches him right back down. I think Batista was trying to set for something big. But took too much time. Maybe he's just been a little bit disoriented there. Oh, catches him. Catches him and punches him there. And that's what I'm talking about right there. How good is is, is fucking Batista and Ric Flair working together? Playing dirty in this one. And that's what you got to do if you want to get things done. Here you go, look at this tag team. Look at this tag team working so fucking fresh together here. Ric Flair very smart. Again, going after the legs of Titus O'Neil. And how well do these two know each other? Does Batista and Ric Flair. Batista putting Ric Flair, sorry, putting T Darren Young on the rope there. He saw Ric Flair take advantage of those legs again. And now Flair, we're just poising. Oh, that shot there. And the crowd behind that one for sure. Oh, big time clothesline. Okay, another way from Flair's age, the guy can move in that ring. That's for damn sure. Toss him off the rope here. Oh, bumps, bumps right into him there. Look at this, look at this. Big time Oklahoma slam there by Darren Young. And now Darren Young has things going his way once again and tags in the big bad Titus O'Neil. We saw Titus O'Neil and Batista take each other on, but how is it going to be between Ric Flair and Titus O'Neil here? I don't, think he, I don't think Ric Flair knows where he's at right now. Big time rushing leg sweep there by Titus. Oh, that leg just getting smashed up here. And I'll take advantage here once again. Referee. He kicks out at one there. Kick to the back, but Ric Flair just took that like he's back in Japan. Going for something big, messing up those legs there. Go! Oh! Holy shit, what a match this one has been. And still in this one. This is Titus O'Neil. Ric Flair, Batista, and Darren Young. And somehow, some way, these two are still going, but they definitely deserve their spot. They definitely deserve their spot. Yo, oh, jeez, definitely deserve this spot. Did Titus O'Neil and Darren Young? Big time spin out power bomb there by Batista. And that's how you do it if you're Batista. He's still tying for the, to, for the finish here, but he's not exactly 100% just yet. All right, again with that jackhammer style suplex slam. I wonder what it's going to take at the end of this one to, to, to win here. Going for a, a hammer lock. A nice hammer lock being set up there. And Batista could have Titus O'Neil lose via submission here. It's all, it's, that's all in this. It's all about this match. Oh, big time clothesline. Running over Titus O'Neil. And this, you see the size of Titus O'Neil just got taken down with ease there by Batista. He's showing off his strength there. He's returning here to reform Evolution here with his former, his former members of Evolution. The same people that he broke apart with. And now in trouble here. And now in trouble here. And Ric Flair getting in the face of, of, the, ref, of the referee here. The referee doesn't really notice this right now. This working, working, working nicely here. Oh my goodness. Titus and Elder straight off the ground. That power bomb just shaking the, the force of the ring being shaken so quickly. Get caught right into something big here. O'Neal. O'Neal. Oh my goodness. That's the more drop. 
how close is Tyrus O'Neill and, and, and Darren Young to winning this thing here? And Tyrus O'Neill smart enough to tag in his partner. At the same time, Tyrus, Darren Young is not 100% compared to Tyrus O'Neill. At the same time, momentum not going his way. Nice reversal there by, by Darren Young there. But he's reversing that, tossing the big, the, the smaller man on the outside there. Big time shoulder block. Pushing both men out here. Ric Flair looking on the outside. And you know they're going to play at some point. These, these evolutions are going to play dirty here. Rick Flair is going to take all advantage of that. You see him walking down here very slowly. I don't think the referee, I don't think he, I think the referee even knows this is Rick Flair. That's how sneaky this guy is, how crafty he is. It's all over the place like a damn fucking the zoo right now. Look at this. And how quickly did fucking Flair turn, turn, turn this thing up here. Rick Flair back into it. Going for some bigs. Trying to save his, 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 his fucking moment. He's trying to save momentum here for his team. Oh, close on taking him down. Ric Flair. Right back in it. Batista right back in it, and that's what Ric Flair has to do. He has to save his man, and that's what he did here. Batista with a big time spine buster. That's nothing new. That's just Batista. Batista ready to go for the finish here. Ready to go for the finish. The question is, can he do it? Can he make that finish? Going for the Batista bomb. Nope. Send out for that, that fucking power bomb. He got all of it. He got all of it. Jeez, what a fucking match this has been. Go for it all, go for it all here. Referee, one, two, three, and this one is over. And that's how you do it. You gotta play a little dirty to win, and that's what the that's what Evolution members here just did. about a fucking match these two got brought it in this one here for sure take that away from Titus O'Neil and or Darren Young that was amazing in a, in a wrestling and a tag team wrestling standpoint we don't see a lot of good tag team matches like we used to so these two, these two is a very it's a very classic one between these two and that was amazing I said taking that away from Titus O'Neil and Darren Young I'm pretty sure they'll have their chance again at those tag team championships but it is not tonight evolution with the advantage here and they even need to use Randy Orton to get the victory here Look at this from start to finish. They're working like a well-oiled machine, the Ric Flair and Batista. Was up the thumbs up and the thumbs down. And that's what we saw. Batista ready to go for the finish. The kick to the mid session is where it starts. Takes him up. Big time fucking power bomb. Sit up power bomb at that. Makes it even more explosive. Throws it throws in the well, the force, the, the, the centrifugal force here. Slamming down to the mat here for the one, two, three. Ric Flair making sure that Titus O'Neil doesn't cause any more trouble in this one. And these two retain their championships. But take nothing, like I said, take it away from Darren Young and Titus O'Neil. That was an amazing tag team match. So Zaro takes on Kurt Henning in our same main event for the United States Championship. Get ready for it. It's up next on Friday Night Generations. This is our sixth match tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as these two take each other on. Cesaro takes on Mr. Perfect for the United States Championship, and you see Cesaro feeling out Mr. Perfect here. Mr. Perfect is no joke in that ring, and for that's for damn sure, but neither is Cesaro. Cesaro spending a lot of his time in the Indies, and can turn things around, and is quickly, is, is, is very quick to turn things around in any match that he's put into. Let's see what these guys, these two can do here for the United States Championship. This is a false count anywhere match, and right now these two are showing off their technical prowess. Let's start this one. Up the chest there. Oh! Fucking A. With that fucking form and a back and forth. Cesaro just smacking off him here. And this is the size of these guys. These guys are not small guys by any means. And Mr. Perfect is no small guy. And you can see you can see the size that he is a little bit smaller than Cesaro. But, Cesaro, but at the same time, this no, like I said, no small guy. But Cesaro, obviously no small guy in that ring. And just showing his, showing his fucking dominance in this one. Reversing. I mean, these guys are going back and forth here. Oh, fucking again. Won't for it again, but no. How amazing are these guys? How amazing are these guys? Look, look at this. Look at this. Ricola bomb here. Ricola bomb. Very new move they've added in. Going for it all. No. Easily, how 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 does this match fucking turn? How does this match turn so damn quickly? Going for it all. Fall away slam. Didn't hook the leg though. He doesn't need to. It's early on in this match. Zara. Very good and very calculated in, the, in this ring and knows what it's like to be in the ring with the best moves. So like I said before, spent a lot of time in the indies and knows what it's like to win not only championship gold, but to be one of the best, being the top dog in, in, in the brand. 
I would love to see this guy on top of the world once again. But he all starts winning this championship here. But can he win this championship here? Can he do it? Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Already. Oh. This is a close kind of anywhere match. Anything. It can end up anywhere. We can end up at the top of the fucking ramp. It can end on this table here on the outside here. It can end anywhere. And the referee's ahead. And all the referee has to do is count the pin, fall, or submission. No disqualifications here. You see. You see Mr. Perfect going after Cesaro with that fucking ladder here. This is not going to be a safe match by the end of this one. Somebody's going to get hurt by the end of this thing. Oh, jeez. He just got folded up as he's trying to escape there. And once again, Mr. Perfect taking advantage. Big time. Oh, chop right to the fucking neck. Oh, it's not coming all the way to Cesaro. Cesaro can fly in that ring. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Being smart in this one is Cesaro. Perfect. It's, uh, waiting for Cesaro to either make up his mind here. Cesaro, Cesaro is not the champion, so when you think about it, he has to chase after Mr. Mr. Perfect here. Whatever the hell he wants to do, it, like I said, it's not going to be good here for Cesaro. Like I said, like we said before, Cesaro has to go after the championship. He's not the champion here, but very close. Been very close as of late to being the champion. He's been dominant as of late as well. It's our first episode of okay, not universe. Sorry, our eighth episode of not universe mode. I, I know it's been crazy. I know I've been doing some random shit. I've been all over the place with wrestling games, and I hope to keep on finding more to keep on playing. And at some point, these two are gonna bring it here. Let's get them weapons, and you know, at some point, they, they, these two are gonna fucking go. If you're wondering when the hell it's gonna happen, so I was setting all kind of hardware on the outside. I don't think he realized that Mr. Perk's behind him there. Really paying attention, doing whatever he wants to do. Oh, and just took him out, laid him out of that chair. And that's what I'm talking about right there. Pistol Perfect, not going to waste any, not going to try and, and it will take his time here. He knows that he's the champion, and that Cesaro has to run after him here. Look at this, get caught up there. Oh, and again, the referee getting caught every time. Cesaro has something against the referee here. Oh, and that front kick actually blasted the hell out of Mr. Perfect here. And now Mr. Perfect may be just in trouble. Cesaro, when he gets things going, it's really hard to stop this guy. It really is hard to stop this guy. I don't know what his plans are. Cesaro trying to set up something early. But I'll tell you what, whatever he's trying to do, it might not be a good idea. Mr. Perfect, oh, that kick just laid right to the side. And Mr. Perfect get himself out of this one quickly. No, go for something big. And I had a nice arm drag there. Holy shit. This one has been crazy. You know, you wonder what these people do pulling off. You saw, oh my gosh, no, 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 no! And it's nothing but exposed steel up here. And that's if Cesaro had any kind of plans to do anything up here, it's going to get him in a lot of trouble here. Whatever he's trying to do, it's not going to help him out here. He's going punches to the face, getting him, saving himself. Definitely saving himself there. Oh, the midsection. Going for it all, going for it all. That Alpha Mirror water slide, he got all of it. Gives off it up quickly. Oh, he got caught by that DDT. He got caught by that DDT. Cesaro catching him off guard. Mr. Perfect couldn't lose that championship here tonight. Cesaro, uh, Cesaro could have this one in the bag. Cesaro could have this one in the bag. Oh, very European uppercut, he likes to call it. And this one could damn near be right here. This one could be damn near be right here. Referee call it as it is. One, two. No, and he kicks out of two. And how close, how close was Cesaro to winning this thing here? And I think this whole, this whole setup that Cesaro's been trying to do is all just a ploy to really get himself uh, an advantage here at this point. Right on the, on the edge of that, on, this, on the edge of this here, on the edge of this here. And Mr. Perfect takes advantage of that with that neck breaker and turns things around. Now Mr. Perfect with that chair. Oh! He messes up the knees. Well, Cesaro here, oh! Misses it. Oh! Right to the gut. I'm not sure Mr. Perfect can jump, but I'm pretty sure he'll pull. Off, he'll find something to pull off here. Setting up, setting up, setting up. Oh, that knee just took the hell, just beat the hell of the gut. Cesaro here. Mr. Perfect ready to finish. You know Mr. Perfect's ready to finish that perfect place. The question is, can he get it? The question is, can he get it? Can he get that perfect place locked in? Oh, and cut the side of the fucking table. But he has no stamina left to really get anything going for himself here. And then you gotta believe that he's hurt. You gotta believe he's hurt. Mr. Perfect just may have this one in the bag. The question is, is it enough? Referee. No, and he kicks out at zero. 
what has been shown in the, the, the work that's been shown in this match has been amazing here so far. You gotta wonder what's what's perfect's next plan here. Cesaro has really has had things going from the start, but now oh, in trouble is Cesaro. Up to the top there. I don't know if can fly. I'm pretty sure he can't. Yeah, he can't fly to the top. And I think he's trying to go for, trying to be a cruiserweight here tonight, but that wasn't happening. Two and beat up beat each other for the majority of this match on the top of this ramp here. Not many matches in on the top right because it's so dangerous. Oh! Form shot to the face. Chopped to the buck and chest once again. Going for it all, but no. Cesaro saw it coming him all the way. Look at this, look at this. Look at Alfa Mirror Watchlight once again. An old finish of his own. Cesaro now making his way back to the ring. I don't, know, I don't know how that's going to help him here. He needs to stay on perfect. Perfect. If you get perfect a, a second, he's going to take a mile with it. Now crawling to get himself back up here. you got to be Mr. Perfect's hurt, but so is Cesaro. You know, somebody's going to take advantage of this at some point somehow. Mr. Perfect got a chair in his hand. Cesaro with a, a step in his hand. We're going to find out who wins this one in the end of it. Referee doesn't want to get in the middle of this. But that's for damn sure. Oh, knocking down the referee there. Oh, went good like a fish with that chair. And once again, the referee not on the side he wants to be. Nice reversal there by Cesaro. Oh, misses the fucking spinning European uppercut there. And that definitely, that definitely gave, so that gave nothing gave me the perfect all the time in the world that he needs to set up for whatever. Oh, big time suplex here. And on the on the lights here, this is not a good place to be. Especially on that great, you can definitely get yourself cut. That Your whole back can get cut up here. It's not a, quick, a, good, not a good spot to be. No more safer than all the top of the ramp. So we saw a while back, Sean Michaels get caught up in these lights before, and that was just his entrance. Now set up for it, a fucking sharpshooter here. And could damn it have this thing? Could damn it have it locked in? I mean, he has it locked in, but can he get, can, oh, they think he let go there. Let go, and Mr. Perfect taking advantage of that set opportunity. Drop kick taken down Cesaro once again. It's our fifth, our, our seventh main event of the night, ladies and gentlemen. This one's for the United States Championship. Cesaro would love to win that championship again. Former United States Championship, United States Champion himself, would love to get himself back into it and win it once again. The question is, can he do it? Right in this one, he's been showing it off so far, but so is Mr. Perfect. And per Mr. Perfect's all about showing off. That's one thing this guy is all about is showing off. And you gotta wonder what the hell is gonna take. So I'm taking it out here on the referee, but the referee's the only person who can make this count. He's been going on all night if he needs to. Mr. Perfect will still be champion when it's all said and done. Tossing the chair out there. Oh, Cesaro. Oh, watch his foot there. Very smart is Mr. Perfect. And he can swing that, he can swing that candlestick around. Oh, my goodness. And I mean, that's what I mean right there. How good is Mr. Perfect at this being perfect? perfect. Exactly. How good is this guy? I don't know. See, he'll set up here, but I'll tell you what, it's not going to be good. It is not going to be good. Going for something. I don't know exactly who's going for. I don't know if he's can find whatever he's looking for at this point. A table, it seems. Yes, it is. We got it from another camera angle there. We saw that fucking table being set up. The table getting taken out outside here. Oh! Catching him out at the last second there. Almost got, almost got caught up there. Mr. Perfect ready to fly. Mr. Perfect ready to fly. Drop kick taking him down in the back of Cesaro's head. Smashing off that fucking step there. And again, that fucking knee. Something's got to give at this point. Something's got to give at this point. And you know Cesaro's in trouble. Mr. Perfect has not a lot left in him. And he wants to finish this one before it's too damn late. He wants to finish this one before it's too damn late. Look at this. Perfect flex. Perfect flex. Look at this. Perfect flex. No. Didn't get all of it. Didn't get all of it, though. Didn't get all of it. Didn't get all of that table, either. Cesaro could even be out of it here. And now set up for a, 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 a figure four. Yes, it is. A figure four leg lock being set up here. A figure four leg lock being set up. Amazing here how he yeah, how quickly he turned things around. Cesaro's still damn near on his feet there. And Mr. Perfect taking advantage once again. Oh! Messes up there. I think he was trying to go for the leg for Cesaro. And I got caught up on that table. And once again, I can show how that table has it can really be a detriment to, to, your, to your success here in the world of wrestling. Go! Oh. Set up that table and Cesaro. Slowly, but surely get himself back up here. Set up that neck breaker. 
This is all. This has all been pretty much Mr. Perfect in this match. But Cesaro very quickly turned things around. The question is, can he do it at this this late in the match? At this point, in this in, in this late stage of the match, can he still do it? And I'm stuffing outside. Mr. Perfect getting himself away from the cha from the challenger here. And that's very smart. If you are the champion, you're gonna take your time. You don't have to rush and do it. You are the champion. Everyone has to rush towards you to make something big for themselves. Big time kick to the side of the head, the mush in the arm. And Mr. Perfect. Oh, that was clobber and baseball bat shots. Oh, and Mr. Perfect, I think he's bleeding there after that one. Holy shit, his arm also got caught on that bottom rope. And that's a hard, that's a hard part, place to hit right there as well. Not only does Cesaro kick him in the arm as he, as he got back in the ring, and he also has arm caught. Oh my goodness! Cesaro, maybe want to go for the finish here. Just maybe want to go for that finish. The question is, can he do it? Can Cesaro win the championship here and be a two-time United States champion? Two times United States champion. Let's see what this guy's got. Let's see what this guy's got. Oh my gosh, neutralizer. He got all of it. But it's enough to take off Mr. Perfect here. It's enough to take off Mr. Perfect for me. One, two. Three already go I just had a three. I said three, but it was not a three just yet. Mr. Perry still in this one, and the fighting champion that he is stays in this one. This is a semi event, ladies and gentlemen, and this is for the United States Championship. And Cesaro challenges Mr. Perry for that United States Championship. We'd love to win this thing here. Would be with oh, Mr. Perfect, perfect fight out of it. Perfect fight out of it. Oh, we ran right into that baseball bat quickly. This is our. And, and Cesaro had things going here for a moment, but how quick did he turn things back around there? Did Mr. Perfect. This one's been amazing so far. This whole night's been amazing so far. And these fucking people are bringing it to each other in our first episode. This night will go on as long as it needs to. But the love for wrestling, it, will, it, can, it can never die. That's for damn sure. So I was setting up for something big here, I believe. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Nice small away slam. Didn't hook the leg that time. Still probably thinks that he that Mr. Perfect has resiliency. Enough resiliency to stay in this one. And Perfect's down right now, but he's taking his time. Taking his time resting on the mat there. And that's what a veteran would do here. Oh! What the hell is this? Oh! Back body drop, but taking him by his arm. How strong is Mr. Perfect there to toss him like that? It's Perfect thought told him on the fucking table here. There's nothing he can really do. Stuck in a bad position. The, the ladder's at the top there, and it's not like he can climb anyway. This is our sa I'm pretty much practically saving himself there with that chair. Oh, and the chair hit him right off there, and Cesaro turning this thing back around here. This match has been amazing so far. You gotta believe that somebody, somebody's gonna fucking feel some pain. It's definitely gonna be feeling a lot of pain after this. Very European uppercut taking him out there. And now Cesaro, now Cesaro has things going his way once again. I don't know what his plans are here, but when he set up a table on the inside, he's gonna have to turn something around somehow, some way. Oh, his side of his head just smashing off that side of that turnbuckle post. One thing that may just be holding this ring together are those, turn those strong turnbuckle posts. Iron um, practically screwed into the fucking the, 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 the fucking ground here of the cement. Oh! Spurrow's head had nowhere to go and at that point got caught up. So I'll take advantage of it once again. Look at this. Alphamere water slide. Alphamere water slide. Oh! And how quickly, how, how easily could have uh, Mr. Perk went through that table. Alphamere water slide again here. He's going for another one. Oh! That's a second one there, and man, he's really gonna do some damage to that back of Mr. Perfect there. No, per Perfect fighting out of it. Perfect fighting out of it. And still in this one somehow, some way. It's Mr. Perfect. Fight him back. Fight him back here, but nice chops there. Mary's reversal there by Cesaro. Oh my gosh, how close was Cesaro to tossing Mr. Perfect through that table? Cesaro wants to end this damn thing here, and he could do it. He could damn do it here. Look at this. Look at this, he's setting up for that fucking, that, that, that fucking neutralizer again. Oh, right on the chair too. Right on the chair too. And if Mr. Perfect has any way of kicking out of this, he might want to do it now because he might be out of a referee. We have a new champion here. Two, three, and he stays in it once again. Does perfect. So Cesaro's going to need to do just a little bit more. And Cesaro knows he needs to do a little bit more here. Oh, my 
goodness, not only taking out the bucket, not at all taking out Mr. Imperfect, hurt heading himself, but taking out the table as well. And I gotta feel sorry for that table, it's been taking some damage here. It still hasn't been broken here. Very Japanese table, I believe. Fighting here is Cesaro to the bucking, keep Mr. Perfect down. He's doing more work fighting to keep Mr. Perfect down than bucking Mr. Perfect is just getting himself back up here. Oh, again, that fucking table to the, the, the rib there that time. The kidney area being definitely felt up there. And at the same time, that fucking back has been taking a lot of damage. Cesaro. Mr. Perfect, Mr. Perfect. Oh. Cesaro just take that hit. Oh. Swatted it away. Swatted it away. Amazing. Oh, Cesaro was going through that fucking table. Perfect setting up. To some of our top row spot here. And that table's in a perfect position here. That table's in a perfect position. No way, no way, no way. Oh my goodness, the table didn't even break. The table didn't even break, ladies and gentlemen. It just fell apart. I'm telling you, this table is very Japanese. And these two are trying to take each other off through a table here. They're not even trying to go for a finish anymore. Big time reversal there by Cesaro. Cesaro taking advantage. Cesaro taking advantage here. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Look at this. German suplex once again. Hulk in the hook on the bridge. Referee won. No, in case I didn't won there. You gotta believe you're Cesaro at this point. What are you gonna do? What is your next hour? Oh my goodness, that's what he's gonna do. That very European uppercut may have taken him out there. May have taken him out there permanently. Referee calls it is one. No, and again he kicks out at one. The resiliency being shown here by Perfect once again. Holy shit, what a match this has been. What a match this has been. They're going for it all again. No, oh, he got it. He got it once again. Perfect. On top of the warehouse showing off. Showing off is perfect. But he knows, he knows he just may have this match in the, in the bag here at this point. These two are working so hard to keep each other down and, and, and really just keep each other down. They've been working more, more work to keep each other down than to get themselves back up here at this point. And what the hell are these going to do? Gonna do what are these two going to do next? He's going to be fucking feeling like shit right now at this point. Cesaro needs to figure a way to get out of this before it's too late. Perfect with a, with a, fucking, uh, a fucking second win here. Going to the top as quick as you can, possibly can here. Go for it all. Go for it all. Oh my goodness. And just may have taken himself out of this one permanently. Going for the pin here. Two. No. He got the three. What a fucking match this one was, ladies and gentlemen. This one was fucking long, but it had to, it had to be done here. This is perfect with a big time victory. You take nothing away from Cesaro here in this one, but only one came out above, and that was Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning in this one. You're still your United States champion. You gotta be wondering who's gonna take it on next week. You gotta be wondering who this guy's gonna take on next week. We'll find out soon enough. But, as there for, but in our main event, Stone Cold Steve Austin takes on Triple H. The World Heavyweight Championship. You gotta be wondering who the hell is gonna win in this one was all said and done. We'll find out up next. The Friday Night Generations. This is our main event tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and these two know each other too damn well. Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and Triple H. And he talked to these guys in pretty much pulling up the power trip here. And these guys were an amazing tag team at one point, being one of the probably the most vile human beings on the face of the fucking earth. At that point, being up just about everyone that gets in their way, and Stone Cold play and playing a little dirty here. That's something you would expect more from Triple H. Oh, and just a punch, they're just returning the favor here. 
And Stone Cold still giving me advantage here. Okay, now that fucking armbar. Oh, headlock. Nice takedown there. And right back into it and into the clinch again. And Stone Cold once again getting that every day, getting the, the, the fucking front there. Fighting it back into it. Triple H showing off his skill now. We've seen Triple H in amazing matches before, but so is Stone Cold. Stone Cold, one of the most infamous, one of the most, my most, probably one of the most popular wrestlers of all time when it comes to, to being in the WWE. He's two at a break up here, at a break up here. And Stone Cold again playing a little dirty, and that's not the usual Stone Cold, but he's doing what he has to do here to try and get in the head of Triple H. And now Triple H teeing off of those fucking punches. Big time knee there, and that's a very patented knee, using the knee to get things done here. And don't win a neck breaker. And starting things off quickly after Stone Cold off going after those, going after the, the neck of Triple H here in this one. You gotta think at some point. You gotta think at some point. Is Triple H is gonna go after that that fucking that neck, that that and that fucking back of Stone Cold here, especially those knees at the same time. He's gonna go after those knees. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, a big time knee right onto the, right into his knee, and fucking Triple and Stone Cold is out on his fucking feet here at this point. Triple H tossing him with all his strength, ducking down quickly, going for something big. Reversal there by Stone Cold. And you gotta believe Stone Cold. Oh, Stone at some point Stone Cold is gonna turn this thing around. And right now he just may be doing that right now. Triple H needs to be needs to be aware of Stone Cold and how quickly he can turn the momentum, and the pace of any match that he wants to around. Reverse mat slam. That was gross. If there, if there was a way to be gross. Oh. Reversal there by Stone Cold. And again. Oh my goodness. Runs right into that fucking 110th Street slam there. By Triple H. Triple H to the oh, second rope. And rolling right that, that fucking knee. And that elbow right across the face of Stone Cold. Stone Cold using that as a signature. And a set of ways. But going for a more of an elbow approach. Then up some big ducks down once again. Going out of the way, Triple H, oh, big time clothesline, that's how you get into the way, that's how you get into the way, then Triple H showing off his dominance here as the World Heavyweight Champion, like I said, the ladies and gentlemen, star main event, the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line, this Triple H defends that championship here versus Stone Cold, Stone Cold not liking that by any means, but takes himself back in the ring, Triple H respectfully enough gets himself back, he lets him get back in, oh, but runs right into a kitchen sink, this fucking Triple H here, Stone Cold, Reverse there by fucking Triple H, and these two going at it once again, and back and forth, big time backbreaker, pendulum backbreaker at that, and now turning the pace of this thing here once again, around once again. Oh, punch to the head! Another, oh, disrespectful slap there by Stone Cold, and runs right, runs right into it with a fucking running neck breaker there, and tying away once again is Stone Cold. And really has the advantage of this one here. Really has the advantage going his way. Let's see if he can keep it up. Reverse there by Gamesy. Games with a big time kick to the mid section. Big time knee and cheese almost knocks his fucking block off of that thing. And Triple H now back in control once again. Big time back elbow. And short arm clothesline to the fucking boot. And Stone Cold, like I said, has that head, those head injuries. And if Triple H stays on his head there, he could have this one. Oh, big time reversal there. I think Triple H was trying to go for that spine breast, but way it went in too early here. Triple H, uh, Stone Cold still knows where he's at. Stone Cold still knows where he's at here at this point. Going for something big. Go for a pile driver here. Oh my goodness. Oh! Now you're not going to see that too often in the, in the newer ages of wrestling. These two can definitely do it. And Stone Cold now wants to finish with that Stone Cold stunner. Trying to finish this thing early here. Let's see what he's got. Oh! Caught the foot there. Caught the foot there. Going for it all. Stop on that spine buster. And Triple H taking control once again. And Triple H just may have this one in the back. Triple H. Holy shit, this one's been amazing here so far. And quickly, quickly can turn things around. And not only that, but quickly end this match very fast. And Triple H. Stone Cold's been amazing here so far as well. And I'd love to see these two chicken each other on again and again and again and again. But only one of these two can come on above when it's all said and done. Stone Cold taking advantage of that fucking... Something, going for something big there. Triple H showing off his fucking athleticism. Big time DDT. You can, call, you can say that Triple H has no charisma in the world, but the guy can wrestle in that ring and has got himself in a, a big amount of spots before and has got him and still to this day one of the most respected wrestlers of all damn time. That's for damn sure. Big time knee taking down Triple H there. And Stone Cold going to the top. Not Stone Cold doesn't go up to the top too often, but he can fly if he needs to. Going for something big. Missed the fucking fist drop there. Triple H bouncing off the rope. Let's see what he's got. Big time knee once again. 
Just again, again, bouncing off the rope. You can see it getting the full out of speed. Close on Jesus. Taking him down here. And Triple H has been controlling this match pretty much since this, this second half here of this match. Yes, he's got to see the, the start dwindling down here with these two. So dwindling down with these two, that something's got to give. Big time power bomb there by Stone Cold. And Stone Cold posturing Triple H to get back up here. But that power bomb can really take you off your game. Many people have been paralyzed from a power bomb before. It's one of the more dangerous moves, as, as safe as it may look. Smashing the arms up there. Stone Cold very well known to lock in a submission, but so is Triple H. And he can be starting with that arm there. Except for an arm bar of some sort. We're going to set him up for something big. But Triple H again showing off almost a Cruiserweight S style there. And Triple H has thrown his weight around here constantly before. Goodness, Triple H and tr has, has Stone Cold in trouble here. Tossing him over. Stone Cold has it taken advantage of it once again. Oh, stun gun S move there. Almost a uh, pretty much a stunner. A three, four, three quarter face lock takedown there by Stone Cold. If Austin can hit that stunner in this one, if Austin can hit that stunner in this one, he just may have this one. He's been working on that neck for two minutes to the start of the match. Can he do it? Can he win this championship here tonight? Universal there by Gamesy there. Fight, right, fighting right back into it again. Fighting right back into it again. Triple, it's Stone Cold running back in the ring. Realizing the six and just maybe the only thing that may have changed the pace of this thing here. Get himself back in. But again, Ray getting caught right back up. I think Stone Cold, he knows where he's at, exactly 100%. He's taking a lot of damage in this one, but so is Stone Cold. I mean, so, so is Triple H here. Oh, this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Let him for something. Let's see if he's trying to go for a pile driver, but no, it's not coming him out of the way. Triple H. Clothesline. Oh, my goodness. How close was that? How close was that? Triple H is now attacking that back neck. Triple H is attacking that back neck there after that big time fucking lift up there. Almost damn near tossed him back in 10 feet in the air after that one. That was amazing. Reversal there by Stone Cold. Oh, but tossing him over. Oh! Losing that, losing that head, using that fucking bald head to bump right into the fucking midsection of Triple H here. And this was going to get out of control because you know these two can fucking bring it here. Again, these two going at it. These two going at it again. Not oh, a power bump. It's working only in inside the ring. These two, but these two will take all the time in the world to beat the hell out of each other here. You got to be something that's got to give it there when it's all said and done. Oof. Oh, something's gotta give. I'm telling you. Okay. Oh, we saw the kick. We saw the kick. And you saw. You think that Stone Cold was trying to finish this thing via count out, and it wasn't happening. Triple H was having none of that. And now Triple H is a little pissed off. And he tried to finish him on the outside there. You think Triple H? You gotta think what the hell is going through Triple H's mind here. Triple H would love to win this one via count out. Triple H's luck and not having any of that. Not gonna win, doesn't want to win via count. He wants to be convincing as possible. As dirty as Triple H plays, he wants to be convincing as possible that he has this one here. That he still belongs this champion. That no one can take him off his throne. And I believe that no one's gonna take him off his throne anytime soon. But Stone Cold Steve Austin could be that man here tonight. Oh. Oh, fighting back, fighting back. Jeez. Smashing his head off that fucking TV monitor there. And he started off the, off the table there. Now a little fucking kick to the midsection there. For damn sure. What a match this has been. Stone Cold now. Holy shit. You see Lillian and the fucking medic on the outside there. They were wondering what the hell the next, what the hell these guys are gonna do. Oh, atomic drop. Breaking the pretty much breaking that that fucking tailbone just fucking hurting that tailbone. If you ever if you're landing your tailbone, it's the one of the most painful things, and it lasts for such a long time as well. It can last you fucking a day or even two. Oh, something big again here, but Triple H is amazing and just tossing himself out of way out the way there. And games he's not here to play. I'm telling you, this guy is not here to play. Get himself up on the outside here, resetting the count, and these guys have been going here so far. Games he wants to end this one here for sure. That's what that's what damn sure he wants to go for that pedigree to that table. And he's done it countless times. Stone Cold knows what Stone Cold knows what this, what this is like to go through that table. And he just may finish it here. Just may finish it going for it. Oh, oh my goodness, he got all of it. Stone Cold just may be out of it here, and Triple H is walking back in the ring. You gotta think that Stone Cold can possibly get himself up, back up, but after all the damage he's taken. 
after all the damage he's taken, he cannot be in the 100% in this one. But Stone Cold still, Stone Cold still, you see, he never has the never die attitude, still staying in this one. Triple H just may have this one. Triple H. Triple H tossing him off the rope here. Oh, and how quickly did Triple H just get caught up that, that fucking that leg? I mean, sorry, that that fucking neck breaker once again. And how quick is Stone Cold to turn things around here after just going through a fucking table? Holy shit, these guys are still going. No give in either of these two. Impressive there by Games Eight. Drop holds on it once again. Oh. Place in last year's season's uh, 2K15 and back in 2K15, and he had an amazing run. He had an amazing match against Tyson Kidd as well. I mean, this guy's been all over the damn place. And here in not universe mode, I, I'd love to see him continue his dominance here as champion. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got here. With this pile driver, Stone Cold with a big time pile driver there. Get damage, just finish it. Get damage, just finish it. Going for those elbows. Going for those elbows. It got all of it. And Stone Cold just may have this. Stone Cold just may have this. This way it sets up for so nicely, but Triple H saw it coming a mile away. Triple H saw it coming a mile away. Got the kick. Oh my gosh, he just got with a stunner. Holy shit, and this one can be it right there. Stone Cold may be out of referee. One, two, three. Oh, he kicks out at two, and no one takes out Stone Cold uh, Steve Austin with, with his own stunner. That was amazing, and still in this one, I'm going to lose my voice here how amazing this match has been, but Triple H's not done just yet. Caught the leg, caught the leg, oh, caught the leg. Oh, you don't have stamina. If you had stamina, you could have switched it, and you fucking did the Stone Cold shit. Oh, pile driver, pile driver, he got all of it. Holy shit, this match has been amazing so far. You look at the fucking Triple H's laid out on his fucking back, he's practically dead at this point. This is all Stone Cold. All Stone Cold needs to do is hit that stunner one more time here. Hit that stunner one more time. And you see Triple H fighting back here. Oh, fucking A. Triple H fighting back for, for everything that he has. Everything that he has. And all he has right now is that World Heavyweight Championship and Evolution. These, that means so much to this guy. If he loses that championship, he loses Evolution pretty much. Reversal there by Stone Cold. Once again, clothesline. Oh, reverse there. Reverse there. Reverse. Double S by Buster. He got all of it. Amazing. And Triple H, you see him. You see him. I can barely even fucking get moving at this point. Something's got to give. Something's got to give. Triple H. Yeah, uh, Stone Cold in trouble. Those fucking rights. Those fucking rights. Hammering those rights there. The reversal there by Stone Cold. Kick to the midsection. He got all of it once again. And Austin just may have this one. Austin just may have this one here. Austin just may have this one. Oh, he's going for another one. He's going for another one. He wants to make sure this is permanent. He wants to make sure. No. Triple H. Triple H. No, oh, another clothesline once again. Holy shit, what has this transpired into? These two have been going at it for so damn long here. Big time knee being swatted away there by Stone Cold Steve Austin. And Austin may just have this one. Look at this, look at this. Another power driver once again. And really trying to end the fucking neck of Triple H. We've seen the Triple H was bad, the, the bad leg before. Apparently ripping out of his socket before. Oh, and still staying at it. And still in the match at the same point. We've seen him in, in countless pain before. This may be the, like a pain that like no other here with Triple H and Stone Cold. Oh, kick to the midsection once again. Big time punch to the face. Going for another one. Going for another one there. Oh, but Stone Cold caught it once again. Oh, going back and forth here. Going back and forth. Oh, jeez. For those punches once again. Tossing them off the rope. Go for it all. Go for it all. Reversal there by Stone Cold. Going for it. Going for it. Going for it. Big time. Suplex. He got all of it. Something's got to get between these two. Something's got to get between these two here. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what they got going on. It's a running um, signal. Go for it all. Go, run, think, well, think of something here. Think of something. What the hell is this? Look at this. Oh, like a gutter wrench slam there. He got him with that. Oh, right across the face. Stone Cold Poise. Stone Cold Poise for that stunner once again. Stone Cold Poise for that stunner once again. But turning things around here quickly. Turn things around here quickly on suplex. 
Something's got to give, and you, and you know Stone Cold is waiting. He's waiting for his opportunity to really turn this thing around here. And the resiliency needs to be shown here by Triple H at this point. Or Z will just be out of it. Stunner once again. And if Stone Cold Smart wants to get him away from those ropes, Stone Cold very smart pulling away from the ropes there. Very smart pulling away from the ropes. Also gives Triple H the time to recover here. Is enough referee. One, two. No, and Triple H stays in it once again. Holy shit, these two have been going at it. You see, you see the fucking the face of oh, the fucking gay. Oh my goodness. Triple H wants to finish. Triple H wants to finish. The question is, can he do it? Can he do it here? Kick to the mid section. Going for it all here. This is it. This may be it right here. We're a big time pedigree. Can Stone Cold kick out of this? We'll find another number referee. One. Two. Oh, he got the three. Amazing match for these two, nevertheless. That was good. That you actually brought it in that one. That was cool. Like it's like, when you like, you you feel like you certain you play certain people. It's like it feels different, you know. And the fact that you had like a stunner ready and shit like that. And I took and the best part when I fucking took the stunner, and you kicked out of it like dang, beat me my move. What the fuck? That was cool, man. That was the best shit ever. I, I'm that's the only time I really good because like. That I, that happens a lot to me. Took it fifteen, like the C, the CPU being behind it beat me with my own move, and then it's like you, that bro, pisses me off. Big. So my focus more. I was I was slacking until you did, until you did that. I was like I was like yo, this motherfucker trying to disrespect uh, me with I'm my not, own move. I told you, bro. And I, and I playing, thought I thought that I'm he could still around. moves too. So I tried to do. No, no, no. But don't yeah, don't go for anything crazy. Just if you're doing if you're not doing that, but. Make sure you're running back in that ring and shit. Make sure you're also using your take. A big time win here for Triple H, and this is the this is the end of of the uh, well, start of an uh, era here, here for a not universe mode. This is a, a turn of a pace here. You're not gonna see this. You're not gonna see this every week, or you just might. You just might see this every damn week. I love doing this, and I hope you guys enjoy this as well. I'm sure that you've enjoyed this as well, sir. And uh, you'll be back here to do this once again. But Triple H with big time victory here. Um, anything you want to say about this? This was an amazing night, long as fuck, almost two hours long with this night. Jeez. Well, it was a lot of highlights to come from yeah, Friday for, Night Generation. That was um, this World Heavy Championship match was amazing. Yeah, for sure, it's good. Damn Stone good. Cold kicking out of the um the stunner. Stunner. Yeah, that was away. that was fucking sick. I'm telling you, man, that was sick. And anyway, guys, as always, comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys enjoy this, please let me know. I can keep on doing this thing. If not, I can try something with something else. Maybe we'll do all cruise weights or something. I don't know. I'm always up to something. And you guys know I'm always ready to try something new for you guys, as, as always. So with that being said and done, once again, comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Until then, peace out and good shit.